Some All right, stuff. I got some news, y'all. What's going on, y'all? 43 days off dope. Not one thing. Methadone, Suboxone, nothing. It's been three weeks off of dope for me. I've, uh, I still struggle, not with the, the obsession of dope or opiates and shit, but I catch myself, I'm drinking now. I smoke weed and I'm trying, I'm trying to build up the courage to go back into the rooms, to be honest. My brother's sober and, you know, I, for a couple, about two weeks, I told myself that I wasn't an alcoholic that, cause I could drink a beer and I won't get drunk. I could put it down. Uh, I don't go and spend all my money still out of my old lady's purse, nothing stupid like that. But, um, it's still a struggle, man. But, uh. I'm thankful, man, that obsession of heroin is gone. It's gone, and that that was difficult. I was on basically a six-year run on and off, man, and it was with Opana's first, and I was on them suckers about killed me, and so I didn't have the money to pay for them because they're so expensive on the streets, so then I went to heroin, and I was sniffing it for about a week, man, and then I said, you know what, I want to try it. I shot up, man, and it was a wrap, so then it went about two, three months, maybe, of every day using shooting dope and it went from my habit was cheaper now because of the opanas were so expensive to where i'm spending just as much money on dope now if not even more on heroin and it, it it's 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 a battle man but you can't do it by yourself you got to have a good support system cut those who ain't worth a shit you know you want you want friends people who care about your soul man you know and it's hard to find the best place I've been to, man, that helped me feel better. I'd had these moments, man, where I'd want to say, fuck it, right? And then I'd go into one of them fucking rooms, N-A-A-A, same demons. And I wouldn't, first fucking 10 minutes in there, I wanted to leave, man. But I'd stick it through because, you know, I'd ride with my big brother and he wasn't going nowhere. Mm -mm. So I freaking would stay through the whole thing. And after, honestly, the meetings, the rooms, man, I felt fucking way better. I did mentally spiritually i felt like i was growing and and it sucks because getting clean it's like hitting a brick wall you think of all the shit you did all the bad stuff all the just people you hurt man the shitty things you did and, and it's like hitting a brick wall and it can be overwhelming but it is possible man it is i seen it i seen dudes in the rooms that i'd be like oh i'd never be like him and ended up fucking three years later shooting heroin just like the guy if not worse and Mm -hmm. You know, never say never. And that's just, for instance, like, I'll never be like that. And this thing you know you are that, then you feel like you'll never get sober. Never say never, man, because I'm sober now. So, it, technically, kind of, I guess. Never say never. I, we said that, if you go back to my day four through day five, late night video that I made, and it's, it's broken up into different parts because it's too long, I mentioned how I would never be like this person or never be like that person. And I became exactly... Who? Like it's that person. Exactly. And I didn't have intentions of trying to be that person. I just did. The drugs took control. I, I was powerless. My life became unmanageable. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I could, you know, I could believe in a God that could restore me to sanity if I'd only believe that and be willing to turn my life and my will over to Him. And, and as, as much as I understand God to be, as I understand in my higher power, then I could do it and take certain steps to prevent from ever having to go back. So today I'm day 43. Three weeks. Uh, yeah, I got on to my brother about drinking because drinking has led me back, you know, but um, when I've tried to quit before. But, uh, you know, my brother's, he's not the same type of drinker that I was. I did it in rapid succession, became a quick alcoholic, real alcoholic. Um, couldn't stop. But I do know that it's playing with fire because you don't feel good the next morning. Man, alcohol is just as bad as dope, if you ask me. People who fucking drink and it's like a severe problem like that, man, it'll kill you just as quick as dope will. It'll fucking destroy you mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, I know I'm playing with fire, man. I, t I tell myself I'm not going to drink forever, man. But as of right now, that's what I'm doing. One day at a time, man. <laughs> We were a half gram to full gram a day users, yeah. depending on the day, depending on what we could steal, how we could con, lie, manipulate, twist, mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. that we could get to get our dope. And we've changed that. 
I no longer think of stealing, lying. I don't think of using. I don't have to wake up or go to sleep needing chemicals in me. Um, I wake up with absolutely nothing and feel great. Now, there's times through the day when life on life terms come, like mm -hmm. Kurt said, you, you've done things that have affected you or affected people that, hey, life comes at you. How are you going to face it? Bills. Are you going to stick, you know, are you going to do it again in your arm and try to numb those feelings or are you going to face those feelings overcome them and no longer have to deal with that problem and then like they say in the rooms because the rooms are what really helped give me the stability to not have to use or drink or anything anymore are you going to do what they say as the promises say that we will intuitively know how to handle situations which used to baffle us yep. and so I'm beginning wow. to know how to deal with the situations that I could not deal with without dope. And today I don't need heroin. My dope dealer is not my direct, you know, deposit anymore. I don't have to immediately know that every bit of money I get goes directly to the dope man and the very last bit of scrapes, as long as I'm super high, I'll give them to the wife, we, you know. We've, we've got so out of control, put ourselves such in a hole that every bit of money we get now don't go to the dope boy, but it, it, every bit of money we get now we don't even have. It's gone already on mm -hmm. bills spent because we're months behind, months and months behind, some worse than others, but it fucking can be overwhelming, man, and sometimes you want to say fuck it. And dude, you know what? And I heard it best, man. One of the things that got me the most when I was getting clean was fear of responsibility. I was scared. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like I wasn't scared to go outside, like oh the sun or whatever, fucking weird like that. But it was just having to get a job and pay my bit, be, live normal. For, I forgot how to fucking live sober. I don't. I, I, I lost my mind. You know when they mm -hmm. said truly, you have to be true to yourself. If you're not going to be honest with yourself, man, you're not going to get sober mm -mm. at all. You're going to fucking struggle, and it might lead you down a longer road. And a longer freaking path of just self-destruction, man. Some some fucking can't do that for years, man. Some people don't make it. They're not fortunate enough. What what we do and what we struggle with, man, kills people every fucking day. It's not a game. This is this is real life, man. It's just serious. And the second you think because you got sobriety time and you're fucking sober, like don't we're easy forgetters, man. Don't forget. You know, you want to think, you know, you'll talk with buddies, you'll, you know, and you'll rem remember a time y'all got fucked up together and y'all will romance the high. Literally think about it. And it's some, I've, I've done it and it gets, gets this weird feeling on my chest, man. And then, you know, but then you'll have a dream, right? And that's how you know you're doing better. You'll have a dream of using, man, and you'll fucking wake up freaking out like, holy shit, I relapsed because you really don't want to because you... At the beginning, you remember, man, how fucking shitty it is, how much it sucks, how how the fucking weeks without sleeping, you can't fucking eat, or you're eating so much, then your fucking stomach hurts, and I mean, restless, irritable, discontent, man, you can't fucking face nobody, you don't want to see nobody, you fucking are just so miserable, you literally can't fit inside your own skin. True. Literally. And I don't ever want to experience that shit again, man. I, that was the worst, man. I don't wish it on my enemies, man. And it just, you know, if this helps anybody, you know what I'm saying? Derek's sober. He don't drink or smoke. I do, which I need to stop the shit. It's just, it's hard, man. I need to keep going to them rooms. I started falling out of them, and I haven't been back in about two two weeks. Two weeks, and uh, it's not good. It's not good. Change I must or die I will is how I see things. I know I'm going to kill myself. It's a slow suicide. Yeah. It's a bullet gradually going through my brain slowly if I don't stop. Okay. And um, I have no control over my next decision. If you look at my day four video, I didn't realize I said that. And it made a lot of sense now. I was, I was really surprised I actually knew that, even that early on, that it isn't a decision anymore. It never was. Once I crossed that line and became an addict, an alcoholic, there, it, I have no decision on whether I will use again or not. Because my solution to all my problems was dope or alcohol. Mm -hmm. Now I have a different solution, and gradually am I getting more and more of this solution. Look, I could fall tomorrow. I'm going to keep updating, though, and let you guys see. 43 days, I'm going to continue. My three brother, weeks. three weeks, and we're just trying. We're living one moment at a time, one day at a time. And you know what? It's better. Life is so much better without having to do dope. You, keep, you, you romance on those you times. You might not think of it like that at first it might not feel like it because when i first got clean the first two weeks man i was like everything has is the fucking same i just feel like shit nothing has changed i'm just not using 
And so fucking, yeah. I would fucking want to get high. And somehow, man, some way I didn't, man. I was going in these fucking rooms, shaking in my boots, man. Fucking in front of all these people, withdrawing my ass off. I'm talking about, and it, for everybody, it's the same. It fucking sucks. It's the worst. There's nothing worse than that. You know, I'd rather fucking break a bone than fucking go through withdrawals. Straight up. And I mean that. But, um, it, 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 it just, it, you know, pray for us. We'll pray for y'all. Um, and we'll stay in the loop, man. You know, let you guys know. And then I, I'll be excited from when I tell y'all, man, I don't even drink or smoke no more. That would be awesome. You know, but one day at a time, man. So if y'all have anything you want us to talk about, about our story, maybe you have any questions about what we did mm. that you're experiencing or going through and you, you want to, you know, ask that question, let us know and we'll make a video on it. We'll try and keep up to date and I'm going to try and make more videos. Um, of my journey and what is working for me but prayer meditation meetings yeah. uh support group guys people i call and tell them hey look dude i'm insane i freaking want to do it so bad oh my god i want to stick it in my arm and just feel the that euphoria weight, that, weight. that weight you know temporarily it's a spiritual experience we feel on drugs that's why you hear about shaman and people indians that do like hallucinogens and stuff they they experience something like that is temporary and it is a a temporary spiritual expense experience but you know what it's temporary and it only does more damage for folks like me but uh we'll leave you with that let me know what you guys think god bless you and uh give us some questions or comments all right